Hi everyone, so today we're going to do another unboxing video. This time I've decided to upgrade my camera. Previously running a Nikon Z50, which obviously is just a mirrorless DSLR and uh, not a dedicated astro camera. Uh, however, uh, living in Cyprus, uh, the temperatures are obviously quite warm, uh, even in the evenings when you're out uh, looking up at the skies above. Uh, so I decided to get myself a DSO uh, astro camera uh, cooled uh, and see if that helps with some of the quality of the imaging. So here we go. This is what I've decided to go for. ZWO uh, ASI uh, 2600 uh, MCP which is a one-shot uh, colour camera. It's 26 megapixels uh, runs at a resolution of uh, 6248 by 4176 and it has a 16-bit uh, analog to digital uh, converter in it. It's quite a hefty lump of camera. Comes in this little padded pouch bag. And inside we can see here is the camera. It's a just typical yellow, uh, red ZW camera color. On the top here, we've got USB two and USB three in. It takes a twelve volt power connector uh, to support the cooling requirements. Uh, in this case, the full cooling is down to 35 degrees uh, centigrade below ambient and uh, that requires uh, 12 volts, 3 amps. The uh, camera has a 256 uh, megabyte uh, DDR buffer and uh, that should be more than sufficient uh, providing you can get your data uh, off the camera uh, quick enough. I went with this camera uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, obviously 26 megapixels is a, is a hefty size, however it gives you room uh, to crop down uh, the uh, image uh, should you want to remove any of the, the weird stacking after uh, effects that you can get around the edges. Uh, but in addition to this, it allows you to do some binning, uh, combining those pixels together uh, to increase the, the pixel size to get a better image scale, uh, depending on which telescope uh, I'm using, uh, whether it's my 8-inch Newtonian or my 11-inch um, Celestron Edge HD. So with the camera, we also have a couple of adapters are provided. Uh, we've got an M42 uh, male to female and we've also got an M42 to M48 16 and a half and with these we should be able to get the required uh, back focal length which I believe is uh, 55 millimeters. however we'll soon find out when I try and actually make use of it and see what other adapters uh, I also need so in the bag we've also got uh, USB type A to USB 3 and we've also got uh, USB uh, type 2, uh, sorry type A uh, to USB type B uh, cable and we've actually got a couple of these for whatever reasons I don't know. In the bag We've also got this little uh, mini adapter, which I believe is an M48 to M42 uh, conversion ring. And inside, just a little pocket book uh, for your instructions. And we also have an Allen key, which is probably for adjusting the rotation uh, on the frame. But we'll see if I ever need that. So there's the camera. Uh, the other thing about this camera is that ZWO claim that it has got uh, zero sensor glow, uh, which helps obviously having to remove or do any uh, stacking uh, calibration frames or reduce the requirement for the impact of those uh, when taking the images. So uh, 
I've seen some other reviews that suggest that this uh, zero uh, sensor glow uh, is actually very uh, accurate and uh, people are reporting that they aren't seeing uh, any problems at all uh, with the sensor glow. So I look forward to trying all that out. To complement uh, the camera, uh, what I've also decided to do is get ZWA's magnetic filter drawer. Yeah, this is a 21mm wide uh, sensor drawer. Uh, this also can be used uh, to help your spacing instead of some of the adapters. It again also has the M42 uh, connection uh, for the camera side and the M48 ring on the uh, filter side. And it also comes with an M48 uh, to M42 uh, reducer. It's got a nice strong uh, magnets, as you can see uh, inside uh, the housing there. And it also has a little spring-loaded uh, clip uh, at the top there, just to make sure that nothing falls out when you're reslewing uh, your telescope. So we'll look forward to getting this on uh, with the first light, uh, with the, my new Celestron uh, Edge HD11, uh, which I um, did an unboxing video on yesterday, so I'm still putting all that together uh, with the camera and the, uh, the telescope, and I've got a couple of other bits uh, still to attach uh, onto the onto the telescope before we're ready uh, ready to go. In addition to this, uh, when I've been setting up manually uh, the star alignment uh, on my uh, Bresser Newtonian telescope uh, using the Celestron CGX uh, mount, I wanted a better uh, eyepiece uh, to get my uh, pinpointing the, the stars. So I purchased this 2 inch eyepiece which is a 26mm 70 degree field of view eyepiece but this one actually has crosshairs you won't be able to see them at all in there uh, but it has actually got cross crosshairs in it so I can get better accuracy when I'm doing the manual uh, star positioning uh, for setting up the star alignment and the polar alignment on the on the mount uh, manually, rather than doing it with uh, the auto align facility features. So that's today's little unboxing haul. Uh, the camera, uh, as I said, zero amp glow, twenty six megapixel. Uh, it's an ASP, sorry, an APS uh, C uh, image size, uh, twenty three point five by fifteen point seven uh, millimeters and uh, has a quantum efficiency rating uh, of over 80% and uh, together with that the full well uh, electron depth size of, of 50 uh, kilo electrons. 3.76 uh, micrometer uh, pixel size so if I look at the astronomy tools uh, image scale calculator uh, paired with the Celestron uh, C11 uh, the camera under good seeing conditions, uh, the recommended uh, pixel size, uh, pixel scale is uh, 0.3 to 1 seconds per pixel and if I use the 0.7 uh, reducer and do 2.2 binning I can get 0.79 uh, seconds per pixel which is right smack bang in the green zone uh, on the Astro uh, Tools calculator. I shall put a, a link to that in the description uh, so you can have a play around with your own imaging equipment and uh, see exactly uh, how it compares for, for different cameras, different telescopes. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please support the channel by doing the usual surprise, subscribing and, and bell pinging and all that sorts of things. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting the next video out uh, soon. And uh, most importantly, looking forward to getting all this hooked up uh, for first light uh, on the telescope and getting that out there. That's it then. Thank you very much. Take care and we'll speak to you later.